Hello to everyone out there and welcome back to the show. So we're jumping right back into Minecraft. This is the last episode of Rojark for this season. So this is season one. We're going to be getting on to season two. Just a quick reminder, we're going to expand around our base. We're going to try and build up our infrastructure here so that we have the ability to help out other people, particularly that Japanese village in season two uh, coming up real soon. And that, that's just a way of delineating this. So right now uh, we have this space all, uh, you know, tucked in i want to do a little bit more uh terrain farming here so we're going to get underway with that and then we're going to get on to i think some of the other things that i want to try and get done is knock down a couple more trees um i have tons of iron still for all the tools i really could need do i have enough i don't have enough space i need to put stuff away okay just gonna tuck that away in meat. Sweet. We can put that in there. Get some of that. And after that, let's see what we can do. I don't know why those aren't actually like growing. Let's try and add some bone meal to them. Alright, just like that. They they just needed a little bit of a shove. Let's Yep, perfect. So these are going to actually take some time to grow. They're not going to be immediate. I could spend a lot of time whacking them down, but I think if I wait, more will come. I'll just give it some time. Maybe it'll work. Um, I would love to make this house look better, but like, I really don't want to spend a whole heck of a lot of time on this. Oh, and I want to build a farm. A, a barn, not a farm. I already have a farm. The farm is good. So there's lots of, lots of stuff to get off to. Um... So I'm just going to get started on a couple quick projects. Uh, I'll like key you in and let you know what we're doing as we uh, pop along. Alright. And as I was kind of... I was just chopping down a couple of the trees here. I got to run back and actually put stuff away. But I've been... I realized as I was playing other things, I was like, what's over the hill? What's over here? And actually, I just found out. It's more plains. And there's a little more water in the distance. And it looks like kind of a savanna territory down that way. What is this tree? Wait, what is that material? Hold on a second. I can't tell what that is. Also, my character is getting hungry, so I should go back and eat food. But also, this tree is right here. What is this tree? Wait, what can I pitch? What, what do I... Yeah, I can find more of that. Can I actually just do that and then keep that wood? And then chop down this. Whoa. What are you? Hold on, I have to throw like a bunch of stuff away. Okay, real quick. Cobblestone, I'm gonna upgrade that. I'm gonna get tiger wood sapling and tiger wood planks. Whoa, that looks super cool. I can do stuff with that. What'd you drop, a feather? Oh, I'm getting low on health. Okay, we need to go back and get some food or I need to get my emergency rations. I think I have bread somewhere, I should at least. Every time I jump, I'm using energy. That's super cool, though. All right, so I'm going to go organize for a little bit. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we got our hunger situation back under control. So now, even though the sun is setting, I have, like, a safe area over here that I can kind of work inside of. I think I need more torches in order to really make good use of it. So let's just make those up. All right, and... Plop that there, get some more torches, and torch, torch, torch. Good. Good to go. Alright, and then I wanted to plant these pretty looking things over in this area. I should also fill that in so that more sheep don't fall down here. Because that's unpleasant, losing sheep to the deep down darkness. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Because the kind of thought process is, as somebody would be like shooting at me. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Like earlier we had the, um, is that a window? Oh, no, that's just damage. All right. We had the skeleton shooting at us. I'm like I'm trying to find the camera. Um, we had the skeleton shooting at us and it was like, wait, where do I, um, what is there to repair it? Not where is, not where is it, Tony? What is it? Who is it? Where is it? Who was it? Who was it? Uh, what's a who was it? You're not an invasion yet, but you are. 
Please don't blow up. Please don't. Oh, okay. Sweet. The water definitely did its job. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. Yeah, these weren't the best idea. Well, zombies can't open the doors, so maybe if I just chop them straight flat, that would work. Oh, I should not. I didn't mean to fall off there. I need water. I need to drink water. Why haven't you guys been telling me to drink water? Okay. I would never want to go into an invasion low on hunger or low on water. That's just not a good idea. I'm very surprised this glass bottle it seems to do away with a lot of the uh, problems of a wooden cup, which the wooden cup always could give you like this kind of dysentery idea where you weren't, um, it wasn't uh, healthy to make you sick. But like the glass bottle doesn't seem to do that at all. So it kind of, it weirds me out just a little bit. It feels kind of like a hack. I want th uh, thirst to be a thing, but it's one of the only mods that I actually found that would work well with the um, other mods. The other ones didn't want to play nice. Uh, they kind of forced me to not use them. The ones that I did find. Makes sense. We're just going to keep building the tower, I think. Yeah. We'll just take this up a little bit further. Because I want more space, but I actually don't know what to do with the space. I just realized that. Like, I have the resources, but I don't have anything to do with the wood. Except, like, build higher. Which I can. So I am. Or I could build, like, a little castle thing like this. Like, this This would be a good topper to it. Just toss that in there. They sound like they need a hand. Whee! Okay, get you, get you, get you. What are you doing? Quit, quit breaking that. Quit breaking that. Stop it. Oh, they just want to help redecorate those poor zombies. Their home redecoration uh, dreams will never be, never be given to them. Did we lose that whole chunk there? All right. The zombie definitely went to work. Okay, I don't like that. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. Spiders are the worst. Like, they're super OP, because they move very fast. A very a fast. Alright, I'm going to finish that kind of band of cobblestone. How'd you get that in here? I don't like what that implies. That's a spider. And on the other side, that's a lot of... That's a lot of zombies. Oh, okay. Yep. Just like that. Okay, that one's there. Now they're gonna be crawling all over it, damaging it. I need that! Please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Poke, 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 poke. Okay, 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 they're right behind. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, that's a lot of stuff going on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, okay, I just realized I also don't have armor on. And I threw my armor away, because I intended to make more. Anything out here? No? Okay. Oh, that's close. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Alright. Okay. Have I said okay enough? Okay. Give me... There's bread upstairs right here. Let me eat this. That's not right. That's right. Okay. Eat this. Get back. The well-fed status. We'll get that back up. Let's make up some armor. I think some armor sounds good. How about a chest plate? I think that that's the biggest bang for the buck. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's totally right. Okay, stone is super heavy, and you'd think iron would be more dense and thus more heavy. But my best guess is that we're talking about density um, and volume. Volume is the biggest part there. So if you have a lot of rock, which is, uh, you know, pretty dense, but it's less dense actually than metal uh, on occasion. Don't quote me. That's coming towards me. Something is digging its way. You're terrifying, sir. Please stop that. Okay, but rock, you'd have like a thick layer of it, would be my best guess. 
So pretty darn thick uh, layer of rock to cover you up and keep you safe, even because it brittle chips off. So I think the idea is that we, uh, with metal, you'll get away with less, making it less heavy, less weight there uh, by comparison, is my best guess. Uh, that best guess is the only guess, but could be, could be it. Could definitely be the possibility. Okay, I need to redesign this real quick. We're going to pop in with some more. Oh, that's deep. That is very deep there. That's a deep there, sir. I also want more water. Don't want to fill this in. And there. Wait. Oh, I'm using the wrong tool. I was like, why isn't that going through? Well, Tony, it's because it's an axe, not a pickaxe. Oh, that's the wrong spot to take it from. Okay, right there. Take the water, give the water. Take the water, give the water. Uh, the flows aren't gonna normalize because that's a really complex set of stuff going on. That should, wait, and then over here? I think here, and then right there, right there, and right there. And right there and there and now it's all good except for the underlying flows those might fill in if we're lucky now where are the rest of the uh the waves when when are they getting here because i know there's more of them is it daytime already wow i think i might have an like a ton of places like lit up maybe such that nothing is going to like come in and try and kill me There's a spider, though, who's about to come over and chew me up. These should be on the other side? Question mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's right there. Okay. Get him. Get him. And a collection of zombies. All right. Ah, now I have to do this one again. Ah, ah, one more thing. Always one more thing. Okay, and there's the invasion end, so we were finally able to go back to a semi-normal Minecraft blocky lifestyle and get ourselves back to finishing out this ring of safety cobblestone. And almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, and darn it, darn it, the one last piece. Boom, okay, sweet, so... I'm now finally, after that night is over, now that that night is over, yeah, we'll put this in there too, and just tuck that back in. That's a lot of barley. I think we're going to make that into bread, because bread is good. Okay, and now I have meat as well. Very good. All right, now we can put this back. Okay, so long story short, I'm going to get back to uh, working my way through improvements to the newest area um, that we got uh, surrounded there. Survive like a regular night, see what that looks like, where creatures might spawn. I'm going to actually, I think, to make another portal. Sounds crazy, but I think we're going to get to it as well. We'll make the frame out of it and uh, get that underway. I have extra dirt. Wood we'll keep apart because we don't want to burn stuff. And I think we'll make a barn too. But we got a few things to get after, so I'll be right back. Okay, so there is lava very close to the surface here in uh, our little farm community. Boop. There we are. Uh, lava in like a pool, two blocks down. Um, so that gives us a good opportunity to make ourselves another portal and i'm thinking we're just going to do it right here right in the water um i kind of i think that'll look kind of cool i'm looking forward to it so you need four blocks across the bottom such that you have two in the middle it, it needs to be a a, a two <laughs> two by two across by three tall uh nether portal and then you'll light it off with flint and steel so i'm going to draw out what i'm going to use as the base and we're going to go for an 
to make this simpler on ourselves in the economic design. So the economic design is actually done. Shoot, put that, put that back, put that back, just like that. Done by omitting uh, the two center ones, and then you actually you build up three high here. So one, two, obviously the third, and then two back across the top. Uh, so now we have to take and remove the water, place the lava, and then turn it to obsidian. And now we go back and we collect up lava and do it again. You kind of see the process, because you need an obsidian ring uh, in order to do it. So I'll just keep stealing lava, and we'll keep putting it there, and this will take us a lot more time. I'll be back uh, when we see some more progress. So there's the first layer done. Um, now we're going to add in the second layer up. Second layer is done. You can see the tips of the obsidian. Uh, now we're moving on to grabbing the third layer. Third layer is done. We're moving on to finishing off this top layer right here. And we really couldn't ask for a more perfect setting, actually. <laughs> I am very much impressed by the cinematic timing of the weather for uh, this particular episode. The gate is now finished. I really want to stop carving out the ground, but there it is. If I went and grabbed flint and steel right now, this would allow me to light up the portal, and we would have the ability to travel to the nether. And right now, I'm going to go find some ne uh, not another rack uh, not gunpowder either we're on our way back to the base we're gonna find flint we'll be right back we'll light that thing and we'll try and get over to the nether i want nether rack that's the target right now is a nether rack haha -ha, surprise we're in the nether so funny story um i thought i'd turn the recording back on but apparently i didn't so we missed the first entrance into the nether. Uh, there's some cool purple stuff over there. I don't know what it is, and I chalked it up to potentially mod interaction uh, and like mods that I don't know about. There was some glowstone, so we have 39 glowstone. And we picked up some nether rack. Also, we found out this stuff right here is tainted soil, and I've never heard of tainted soil. Also, portal. Portal's cool. We lit it off earlier. Uh, sorry you guys missed it. <laughs> okay, and we're back. And there's our portal. And it's going to make weird sounds, too, once we're close to it. I'll probably make a little, like, frame over it, but that'll be later on. Right now, I don't really want to do that. What? Oh, they're all diseased. Why are you guys diseased? That, you should stop that, because they're going to kill themselves. That's not a good thing at all. Okay, because there's too much poop around. So that's also another thing that you have to pay attention to, I guess, with this mod. Is like, if you leave too much uh, animal feces everywhere, they will get sick, which makes sense. But also, it means I have a lot of stuff to manage, which is annoying. So, you know, trade-offs. Um, so these guys, likely enough, are sick and dying because of too much feces. Unfortunate. I need to get rid of some stuff. There's too much stuff in my pocket. Not like get get rid of it, but like get it out of my pocket. There we go, like that. Oh. That was fun though. The nether is a very scary and interesting place. I just wish I could pick some of this stuff up, but I can't right now, so okay. But either way, we got to the nether. I'm very excited about that. That's I, uh, one of the major things that now we have another rack, and we're gonna build a couple, um, you know, safe uh, zones where the enemies can't uh, knock out the uh, torches. So uh, I'm gonna real quick though toss up a farm and put the manure stall in it. So here we go. No, the invasion is starting right as I'm supposed to be ending this uh, the barn. So we're we're just putting on the roof right now. I have got to keep enough water in me and we have all this cool netherrack and all this cool stuff we just found um 
and it's about to be an invasion right now. So, we, I gotta get down from this, don't I? I need to get back in through here. And, there's no torches inside, I just realized, at all. And, torch, torch. Okay, so real quick, this is the second floor, and that was the roof we were on. And I have enough, so might as well. There we go. Now back down onto the first floor. So here we are. Here's kind of that first floor layout. We'll toss that on there. Put that on there. And then the thing I was trying to get to, like the whole time, was to put in piles of shit. I really actually wanted a place to put a pile of shit. Other than this channel. <laughs> I mean, terrible joke, but come on, some of you laughed out there. Oh, Lord. There, I forgot. Invasion. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Quit, 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 quit. Okay, okay. Are they all over the house? Okay, I hear the zombies. Where are they? Are they underneath? Oh, they're chewing holes and everything. Okay, I don't want that there. I want that there. Okay, and... Are they on the roof? They're on the... He's on the roof. Shoot. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot that this is going to happen. Okay. Oh, they're chewing holes everywhere. They're worse. They they really i guess did not like the uh the house okay quick access and hopefully he'll just come down i have i have arrows i forgot i have arrows i need to drink water before i die and i really need to get out of here and go over there because exploded dudes are gonna cause me problems run away oh that's so much food that means i can sprint everywhere right Totally. Can I get what? Nope. I mean, that makes sense, but also the ships uh, were always interesting. Okay. All right. So we have glowstone. We're going to install some glowstone. Because really, the only thing glowstone seems to be good for, at least as far as I know, is making... Throw that overboard. This stuff. So we can have, like, one piece in here. You know, emergency lighting, right? Everything goes out, and then boom, you got, um, got glowstone going. And then I really want some more fencing, because fences can make really cool-looking structures, like... So this is kind of a walkway. So right here, we'll put, boom, boom. Up there. You actually need to go a fourth high. Out, out. And then you hang glowstone. I actually should have gone five high. Yep. And if you break glowstone, unfortunately, it's a mission return unless you have silk touch. Um, so I'm not going to break that now that I put it in place. But I'll remember for next time. Certainly, definitely, assuredly. Okay. It looks like our population of sheep are surviving somewhat. I don't know how to take care of them. Uh, that's a really difficult conundrum uh, that they were because they get diseases from being around animal poop for too long and they like to be scared into corners because I come around so then how do you how do you solve that issue how do you take care of creatures that don't want to be like taken care of you can tame them actually so that they'll come around and do other things but I don't think it does anything about their like pooping problem ah why did that just happen? I prefer not to throw my sword. I mean, unless it's stabbed in the face. That'd be cool. Alright. Back to... Face as they swim away. And now they're coming towards me again. I became the more interesting target. What? They have such a long reach. I think I gotta start pulling out arrows on them. I think I do. I think I do. Yeah, there they are. They're clustered in that corner again. Shoot. 
and there's only one cow left too so it's really sad it's like the population i penned in started dying because they like got pushed up into the corners and actually if you hear if you uh, read about the american west um in in the united states of america uh that is uh, one of the main reasons the buffalo died, the Great Plains creatures, um, was because of barbed wire. So it's kind of sad parallel that, that my creatures, the ones that I penned in, are now dying because of fences. Very sad parallel. I don't like the sound of that, sir. Can you stop, please? Water, glowstone, I want to keep another rack. I want to light on fire, and the rest of this, I'll just do it. Back down, back down, back down we go. Hey! And... I just threw that, didn't I? Ah, oh, there. Perfect timing. Now we get to test out the glowstone. And he's just staring at me again. God, why does he have to be so freaky? You know, if I wanted to play a horror game, I'd play a horror game. Minecraft, you do not have to do this for me. You do not have to do this for me. But then again, it wouldn't be interesting if there wasn't combat, if there wasn't spooks, scares, and surprises. I'm just gonna go... Uh, I wanna go sneak up to him, but I don't... Like... Why? Okay. 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 Where'd he go? Which way did the... He'll be back in just a second. You know it. I know it. He knows it. Why is he not here yet? Oh, because he landed on the there he is. there. See, uh, he likes that spot. It's his, it's his, uh, it's a safe spot, safe zone. Uh, we now know your secret, Mr. Enderman. All right, yeah, you you set foot in that water, you die. Hey, hey, how's it going? I still have arrows. Up. Oh, hey, there we go. Now we got him. That wasn't so bad. Ah, <sighs> deep breath. <sighs> deep breath, Tony. You down there? There's something down there? I think there's something down there. Why? Why? So, like, they mess up the terrain. And it's so sad, because I don't have enough time or resources to be able to, like, repair it all. And that sucks. Ooh, uh, ooh, dog, all parkour through the zombies. All I need is a spider, or a, not a spider, a skeleton to spawn, and then boom, there I'm gonna go. Oh, or, or that thing. Exactly what I was talking. Oh, okay, he's right there. All right, we're gonna have a war. Yep, you have exploding ones though, but mine shoot faster. Ha ha! I am the winner now. Where's my wood? There's my wood. Thought I lost my wood. Turns out I didn't lose my wood. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! They're so annoying. And how, how are they getting up there? Did they they dug a way in, didn't they? Yeah, they uh, managed to. All right. Okay. How how did how did they do that? Where was the weakness? Oh, probably the skeleton blew up, and then they were able to start digging in. And it's wood. I would fully expect <laughs> wood. Um would fully expect that it's because it's softer it breaks easier okay but i don't want to make this too much longer on you guys um just because i know it's a lot to sit through and hang out for. so we'll be wrapping this up in the next little bit right as soon as this ends and we get into the next day we'll kind of peter it off uh, so we're almost there hang tight so that was going to be the uh good old barn uh but obviously it looks like crap first of all and the zombies did a real number on it so we got to go fix that up real quick okay and the barn's uh fixed we uh added a couple things but there's like a couple entrances to the second floor a vertical hoist site i guess you could call it um am i flipping around the camera enough a vertical hoist section where the uh if you have like giant hay bales or things like that that you need to cart in and get to the second floor from inside uh we got the poop room where we're gonna work on turning manure this stuff excreta which comes in the blocks into manure 
So as it kind of turns gray like that, you'll get excreta back. Um, well, you'll get manure back, or you'll get excreta. And so we'll just kind of put it in here and let it ferment is what the process is called. And then once you get manure, you can actually turn it straight into bone meal and then put bone meal, uh, you know, line it up wherever, however you want to do it. So yeah, now there's options there for that. And then with that, you can, of course, uh, you know, add that to trees, plants like we did before. The bone meal, that, that's what it's good for. Um, there's kind of a house. We have a solid source of food right now. Um, we have a lot of sources of, well, kind of, they're dying away now, sadly. But there are sources of wool. And wool's important if we ever find an ocean big enough to sail on, because then you can make ships a lot easier. Uh, instead of having to farm up a lot of cotton, um, you can just... Sorry, I'm trying to uh, get the thoughts together. So if I'm going to farm up cotton to get wool, which is a lengthy process, we'll just have to leave that, but things will die if they fall into there. That's a... Wow! God, I'm more powerful than I expected. There it is. But... Yeah, with wool, you can make ships, and then they sail faster because of it, and then, hey, gotcha. So we have a source of food. <laughs> Bringing it full circle. We built ourselves this colony. I'm looking out kind of over it, but there's a mine on the other side. We know that we have sources. Now let's go back down and get iron. We have a farmland, lots of safe zone, uh, kept safer, um, unless it's an invasion, and then it's just rougher on us. Invasions are just tough all around, and I every two days, a bit much. But it's great, because it's difficult. It makes it much more lively, uh, much more interesting to take on. So, we'll just kind of take a stroll back through it here, talk about it real quick. Food, biggest thing. Safety, great. Uh, armor to protect ourselves, weapons and tools. And look, look, look at all this just growing up like immediately. I just harvested it. I have four toast in my pocket. I should have another eight pieces coming along in here. Perfect. So, I mean, we're talking like food, 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 food central. That is excellent because obviously, as you all well know, it's important to eat. And in this game, if you couldn't eat, you're going to die. There's some more already growing up. And those apples... Oh, yeah, this is what I meant about the orchard. So real quick, we're going to do this too. Right-clicking on it yields a full-blown apple. And so I think there's one more on the other side too. Perfect. And you can use some of these things in pressers and juicers to make uh, other good, nutritious things for us uh, to eat. And that's always a good thing. So we're going to toss the apple back in there, toss that there, 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 and put that in. Just another couple quality of life things. Make it look better. Start building that road. Um, yeah. Yeah. So nice job, everybody. Nice. Good work all around. We, we did good things. The fisheries never ended up producing, but I think that's because I never gave them enough TLC. Um, but that's that. That is that. That is season one, uh, quote unquote. All said and done right here. We, we did it. We, we carved out our little bit of uh, our slice life through here in Rojark, our newest colony. This is Rojark. Not even our newest, our first. Got the mine down there, our house. Our house is unfinished, but it, it's a work in progress. Uh, never intended it to be that great. Got the little barn in the background there. We got our little spruce forest, our fields, our plains. I'm very happy with it. I'm pleased with the progress. It's taken a while. It's been a grind, but hey, we stuck with it. We got through it. I think we've only technically died once, maybe twice. That was during episode one. So good job all around. I'm very pleased with this. I hope you guys are as well. Please comment. Uh, like the videos uh, if you thought they were good. If you want to see more, please let me know. Um, and we'll kind of continue from here. Remember, next season, uh, sneak peek, we're going in and we're going to be looking at uh, the Japanese village. We need to protect it like we did with this one. But we know now with this fence how 
uh, we need to improve it, so we're going to make improvements there. Uh, we're going to make things a block high. I think we're going to need up some more uh, cobblestone. So in between, we might get some additional resources to do that. But thank you all so much for watching this episode, this season, uh, Minecraft Rojar uh, Colony. Thank you all again. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>